that's how it works. Okay, all right, hang on. When it comes to achieving our goals, it has a lot to do with our mindset. This young lady, she knows about that. Prime Minister Youth Awardee Kiddis McCoy is here to share her success story as well as a few tips, uh, especially for young people like myself who are looking to who are looking young to grow. Like Kiddis, good morning to you. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Good morning, Simon. Good Thanks to have you. Me. Thank you for being here and thank you for sharing your story of how young people can empower themselves to then empower other, other persons. Sure. Um, passionate is how you would describe yourself. Determined from a very young age. Um, Good Deeds Foundation is your baby. Tell us yes, how that is. foundation was born and what it does. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Good Deeds Foundation was formed out of a need to help young persons and to empower young persons. About two years ago, back in 2015, December, I made a Facebook post inviting persons who are like-minded to join me in help making a change among young persons. Didn't get much response from that post. Mm -hmm. However, a few days later, a friend of mine, Matthew Crawford, sent out a WhatsApp message with the same call for young persons to help other young persons. And on that day, Good Deeds Foundation was formed. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we had about 30 persons in a WhatsApp group who were sharing the, you know, the same dream or the same vision of helping young persons. <clears throat> and today, we have impacted over 2,000 persons from then until now. And we focus basically on activities geared towards empowering young persons and helping de developing their potential. So we're going to talk some more about how that impact has played out. But this is sure. this giving back thing that you have is mm -hmm. a part of your DNA. It certainly something you saw is. in your dad, it's something you saw in your grandmother. Tell us a little bit about how you grew and how that seed was planted in you. Certainly. Definitely in my DNA, based on my upbringing, I grew up with my grandmother primarily and she was always giving to persons. She was always giving back. If anyone in the community wanted something, they knew they could knock on our gate and she would be there to help them. Mm -hmm. She raised kids who weren't her kids. Mm -hmm. So it's something I saw and it was inbred in me from then. Yeah. So you started out, you wanted to be a vet. Certainly. So you actually went to UA? Yes. Did not say for three years? Three years, right? Three, three or years. four years. Three or four yes. kids. And then you drop out? Yes. Really? Because I realized that that's not what that was. I wanted not to do it, to but do. that wasn't my passion. Mm -hmm. And doing what I'm doing now, there's no. I don't think twice about it. When I'm doing, it, I'm lost in it. So it's like I don't even regret those three years yeah. because guess what? Every step in your story, it builds you up to where you are now. So I can tell young persons now, if you're doing something that you don't really want to, because your parents tell you to do it, or you think it looks good but you don't have that passion while doing or you don't feel that nudge while you're doing it, it makes no sense. Because at some point, you're going to stop doing that and doing what you really want to do. But how do you balance that advice, though, kids? Because there, there are kids who will tell you that um, they have to eat. So until you're in a position to, you know, make those decisions for yourself, mm -hmm. you have to kind of make yourself stable with something and give yourself an option and, to and be then honest, launch out. It doesn't start with the kids. Mm -hmm. Parents need to also understand this as well. Because one of the reasons why I wanted to be a vet was because initially it was a doctor, because mama wanted to be a doctor. Ah, I and, I, and I'm saying, okay, I'm going to live her dream for her. Gotcha. And or I she's living her dream through, through you. Me. Right. But parents need to also recognize that they can't allow the children to make up for their mistakes mm -hmm. or to live their dreams through them. Mm -hmm. They need to allow them to live their purpose because we, we all have a purpose and we're called to that purpose. So you knew from earlier, you're saying perhaps had you had a discussion Question, you would have been able to say, I don't want to do this, I want to do this instead. Probably not as early as then because it didn't come to me because I've, I've always been involved in service groups. I've mm -hmm. always been doing service related things since I was about five years old. I'm in mean, Girls Brigade, Brownies, Girl Guys. So it's, it, it has been innate. But when it comes to making a career choice, we don't normally think about things like that. Mm -hmm. We're told to be lawyers and doctors and nurses, you know, the, the traditional careers. But you're in school now? Yes. And I you're am. studying business? Yes, so I that's am. traditional? Not necessarily. Okay. Because what I'm focused, my my major is focused on project management, which is something that is fairly new. Right. And it will help me to <coughs> execute my projects <coughs> as running an NGO. That's my ultimate goal. To run, a, to run my own NGO as mm -hmm. Good Deeds Foundation. Mm -hmm. And being on the Wala Fellowship last year, it also helped me to recognize that, listen, 
being an, being, being an NGO doesn't mean that you don't, you don't earn or you can't be successful or you can't be you know, gainfully employed. So that's another stigma that we need to erase as well. That persons think, okay, if I'm doing service, I can't live off this. Right. That's definitely not true. So the Wildlife Fellowship is the Young Leaders of the Americas Initiative Professional Fellows Program done Certainly. by the embassy, right? right? You went in October of last year to right. Indiana. Right. In the cornfields? Definitely, in the mid <laughs> out there in the Midwest. Yes, but you, you, they place you with a, a family or an entity or that's doing something similar to what you're doing. So what right. did you take away from that experience? Okay, so for the four-week fellowship, I was placed with Goodwill Industries of Michiana. And Goodwill, Goodwill Industries, as we know it, or most persons know it at a thrift store. But what, while being there for the four weeks, I learned that they were so much more than just a mm. store. They help young persons to get employment. So they, they do career coaching. They have this gang vat intervention program. There's a program there, which I'm hoping to implement um, here in Jamaica quite pretty soon, where young persons who are in school, who are not on track to graduate, they put them in a special program, take them from the regular classes, and they counsel them, coach them, and help them to be on track to graduate. Mm -hmm. And I met with a few of those students who told me their stories that before they were in this program, they were basically, you know, had no direction for their lives and it made such a big impact on them. Okay. So I'm thinking, how can I implement something similar <coughs> here in Jamaica? So I'm working on that right now. Well, talk to us a little bit about, um, I really wanted to talk to you about how you've impacted the lives of these 2,000 folks, but let me just go with the producer and ask you for your tips for young people. You've pretty much been giving some throughout the interview without necessarily calling them so. Mm -hmm. But let's go in that direction. Um, one, you said don't give up. Two, understand what your passion is right. and go towards that. What are some others that you would give to young folks to I empower mean, themselves? To be honest, I could sit here all morning and give you tips. But I, the, the, the most important ones that I choose to discuss this morning are one, be grounded in faith. You need to have that source that on the days when you feel like giving up, when you feel like this don't make any sense, you have to have something that's going to, that you're going to pull, pull your strength from. And that is your own testimony. That's Because you did say there are days when you felt like, forget this. I, certainly. Yeah. And especially when you don't get the support that you think you need. So it's also very important as well, as, an, as another point, is to have a support system. Mm -hmm. Have that one person, a mentor, who you can call. Your network determines your net worth. And Amen. <laughs> it's, and I've proven that so many times. So when I'm doing my projects, I don't always have the cash to do what I want to do, but I can pull on persons who are resourceful mm -hmm. who can assist me. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely important. Mm -hmm. And your mindset is very important. Being positive at all times. Even when it's two days before the event and you don't see all the school supplies coming in and you have a target of a thousand persons and you're, you're told these kids, you know, meet me here, I'm going to give you stuff and you don't see it coming. You need to be able to say, you know what, it will work out eventually. Mm -hmm. And for the past three years, doing my back to school events, it has always been a challenge up to the last minute, but it always works out. Always works out. So stay motivated, don't give up. Even when you see it like it not manifesting, just have a little faith that it will. Exactly, just yeah. keep going. And you said stay motivated. I always say to persons, it's like a shower. You need to be motivated every single day. Mm -hmm. You need a dose every single yeah, day. Some people don't bathe every day. We're going well, to level in a little bit. You can tell you something more about that. But um, never. I want I'm to be heard of. Of course, you here. I'm just joking. But you are a shining example um, as to what is right with Jamaica. Certainly. You are an awardee, so you know um, how that goes. The, the one of our former governor generals say we have to use what is right with Jamaica and fix what, what is, is wrong. wrong with Jamaica. And you're a part of that. So we Thank wish you, you all so the much. best with the Good Deeds Foundation. I know you'll go far. And we thank you for coming and sharing. Um, thank you very much for having this me. Morning. Um, if there are folks who want to help or get involved with your foundation, how do we do so? They can contact us via email, goodeedsfoundationja at gmail.com. Okay. There's also a Facebook page, Good Deeds Foundation Jamaica. And an Instagram page at Good Deeds Foundation J. Everything is Good Deeds Foundation. There you uh, go. Kidis, thank you very much. Thank you Appreciate so much, it. Timor. Prime Minister Youth Awardee, Kidist McCoy. He does bathe every day. I was just joking. Never bathe. Over to you.